I'm Mike, um, the founder of Loggerhead Gourmet Mushrooms. Currently, I, I run the business on my own. Um, there are a few other smaller businesses that support me, um, but it's pretty much me on my own at the moment. I got into the whole mushroom growing business. Initially, I'd, I had a, an estate agency for many years, a very stressful job, um, and I just got to a point where I'm retiring from that, and I thought I want to do something that in, involves hopefully as much as possible recycling. Uh, that, that was kind of my main focus was the whole recycling. I came up, up, across a, a way of growing mushrooms on coffee grounds, which really grabbed my interest. And I did stacks of research and courses online, and it's grown from there. And, and, and the fact that I wanted to recycle all the time, the whole, from the offset, a lot of what we do is recycled. So a lot of the materials that I've used in the unit is recycled, you know, it's old packing cases. A lot of the Corex boarding is from old boards that printers no longer use. So you might see a billboard on the high street. Some of this is off that. Um, so it, a lot of it was about that. But then I, the, the whole growing mushrooms got, not an obsession, but so interesting. Quite anoraki in the first few months, but um, it, it's just really, it's taken over my life really and, and the, the feedback that I've had off the public who were so impressed with what we grow and how we grow it and the fact that you know it's eco-friendly um, but that I think that's given me a real drive to, to grow it even more the fact that people generally say how fantastic it is. Currently I am growing a, a variety of oyster mushrooms so we do golden oyster, grey oyster King Oysters, um, they're really popular. I also grow and sell shiitake mushrooms, lion's mane mushrooms, um, and I, I'm looking at other varieties that I can grow in the environments that I've got. Horticulture Wales um, contacted me probably just less than a year ago. I had contact and was invited to come along to one of the events which in, in all honesty was really useful for me got to meet some other businesses um, and, and got some good support from some of the team and have been directed to areas they've given me a lot of help really um, and that's genuine you know that I think out of all of the groups out there that support new start business I think Horticultural Wales have been really, really helpful. I, I think one of my big um, obstacles in the early stages was the compliance side of things. So obviously we're dealing with food st stuff. Um, one of the issues that we came across is that the, some, some of the produce that we sell, f for example, the pate has to be tested. Um, without the introduction from Izzy, uh, I, I, I wouldn't have known or been able to get that or it would have just been on, you know, not cost effective for me to do it, but that's been probably the biggest help, the introduction to them. Jane at Horticultural Wales has introduced me to, um, there's some potential outlets for me in, in the Wrexham area, which they've invited me there to have a stall and sell in, which I'll, I'll potentially be doing in the near future, just having enough stock to be able to meet the demand. I, I honestly believe that what you guys are doing at Horticultural Wales is, it's beneficial to, to new start and small businesses as against some of the other um, organisations that are out there who clearly have budgets um, but maybe the money's not spent in the right way. That, that's just my opinion as a small business person. Um, you know, you can send me on courses all day long but it's not going to grow mushrooms for me. And you know, it, it's not gonna get me the next lot of equipment I need. I've been in business for many years. Okay, I've never been a grower, but I, you know, I, I know the fundamentals of running a business. For me, there's certain areas that I, I'm, I'm really good at, and then there's other, other areas that I'm weak. I think if the likes of Horticulture Wales could give me support, not necessarily financial, but financial people who know how to crunch the numbers, and know, you know, how to look at the profit and loss. Um, I, I've got a good finger on what, how profitable the business can be and is, um, but I think support on that, from that area, support on premises, you know, there's, there's 
empty units all over Wales that if I was able to operate out of, because this business is, is small, but it's very easily scaled up. You know, I, I can currently grow in the region of probably 50 kilos of shiitake mushrooms a week. Now, the only thing that's stopping me from growing more is having the space and the equipment. In the future, I'd like to see the business boom. Um, I, I'm very confident that there's this high demand there because I've done my market research. Um, I personally would like to concentrate on the growing, so to, to have a big growing facility that would feed out to business partners who would be selling on behalf of Loggerheads Gourmet Mushrooms. In, in Wales, there's a few, in my opinion, there's a huge opportunity for us to scale up mushroom growing. If you look generally, the majority of mushrooms are, are imported, typically from Holland. Why aren't we doing our thing in Wales? There's enough, you know, there's myself, there are other growers. Um, and I think if we were to come together as a group, there's a massive potential for us to be growing the finest mushrooms available. You know, that's what we're doing here. We're not mass producing mushrooms that are tasteless. We, 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 we potentially could mass produce healthy mushrooms that the public actually want. It's just how we get that investment. And, and you know, Horticultural Wales may be able to help us to kind of, ha you know, put a spotlight on us as to what we're doing and look at the real potential. Because I do honestly believe there's a massive potential there.